Usually, I first use one segment to set the general flow, and then raise the keys to groom the hair in detail. Actually, it's harder to control the hair flow with more segments. Let's say we add one key to the guys. The hair flow is not easy to be controlled. Let's set the keys to five. We can feel this even harder. The best way is to set one segment first and get the rough flow. Then raise keys to bend your style, the guys. It's efficient to set a general flow first and then tweak details. After rekeying, the weight of the hair will disappear. If we need to solve hair dynamics, we need to reset weight. The shortcut key is Shift and K. Now we'll apply the method to add hair for the Jaguar. By default, Blender doesn't show the texture of hair. We can switch to EV Renderer. Toggle on Strip under Hair tab, and then switch back to Cycles Renderer. Now the texture of the hair can be updated in time. Personally, I prefer to show it. It's easier to view the hair directly. Well, it depends on your own preference. Select all the guys and mirror them. And then remove doubles. Now the hair on both sides is perfectly mirrored. But for styling the hair, we need to determine the rough length. If we greatly modify the length of a created style later, the style will be damaged. We can use a large brush when combing the rough flow. If we use a small brush, it's easy to make the hair flow unevenly, which is hard to repair. In the areas where hair doesn't cover well, we need to add some more hair manually.
As for the intersected hair around the armpits and leg seams, it's hard to deal with it. Here I share a hand tip. Smooth brush can take care of it. The flow here goes from inner thigh to outer thigh along the structure of the leg. We need to take note of it. The hair around the mirror of the sink is also a little bit tricky. We select the hair on one side and then groom it. 